warm coffee in a cold morning is just yeah good morning guys so the title of the video is already exciting <laughs> not only for you but also for me today's topic is me finally starting my back piece ah, like i am so excited so we have been postponing this actually me my tattoo artist emils uh we have been postponing this a little bit because we did have like a session date in mind like in the middle of august or at the start of August, now I don't remember. But it was funny because uh, like the date came by really quickly and we realized we don't even have an idea of what we're gonna put on my back. So we were like, let's just put it to the start of September and we'll figure it out. So I did have like a little mold board of what I would want on my back and my back is going to be the biggest piece I have had yet and that I will probably ever have because that's the largest like piece I'm gonna be filling because I'm gonna be filling it starting from my neck down connecting it to the, my shoulders. It's gonna go like around my stomach tattoo and so it's gonna come around my stomach tattoo so it like connects with everything and, and it's gonna go down to my butt and it's it's gonna be huge. <laughs> so so a few days ago, Emils sent me like a sketch of my back piece and I, I was so excited. I started jumping around because it looked so good. I can't wait for you guys to see it. But yeah, today we are gonna start the lines and we're gonna start the upper half of the back. So right now it is uh, 8.50 a.m pretty early. I got up early so I can do a lot of job, a lot of job, a lot of work. Uh, at 1 p.m. I have to be at the tattoo studio and we will put on numbing cream on my back. So for one, numbing cream I'm going to be using because I still want to make these series of me trying out numbing creams and giving like a general review to them because if you really want to test out a numbing cream to the, like the slightest slightest tiniest detail you have to try it on on like the same spot every single time but i can't tattoo the same spot every single time you know up until i have tried the tktx and now i'm going to try something different it's right here so i'm going to be trying out this which looks very legit um my local tattoo kind of supply shop is selling this for 33 euros, pretty expensive, but I also heard that it's very legit. So it's like not the TKTX one, which is like, you don't know what is inside of that little tube. <laughs> and I also think this tube is a little bit bigger than a TKTX one. I haven't opened it up yet. Oh yeah, this is a big tube. Like comparing to the TKTX one, this is a big one. So I believe I can maybe use it like twice or three times depends on how big the area is but you should definitely not use the whole tube in one go but it's uh, way bigger than the tktx one the tktx one is like this big it was tiny but still it had a great impact on what it was supposed to do so yeah i'm uh so as I said, I'm gonna go around one to the tattoo studio. So Emils puts this on my back because I can't do it myself. And my boyfriend's at work, so he can't help me. <laughs> and uh, so, and the two, I will come back to the tattoo studio and we will start doing my back piece. I will try to film as much as possible. Also because parallel to tattooing, I'm gonna be kind of working on my phone. I'll try. I'm, I'm not expecting that I will have well, that I will be able to do much so that's why I need to do now as much as possible and uh, yeah but so all in all I am gonna be trying new, out a new numbing cream and getting a back tattoo which is exciting anyway yeah so now I'm gonna be sitting down to work and I'm gonna tune back in with you when I'm gonna head out of the house and just try to vlog as much as possible yeah And I'm back and I'm ready to head out. So it's been a while. The, the clock is uh, 30 minutes past 12. So it's gonna take me 30 minutes to walk to the tattoo studio. So yeah, I'm heading out and I'm dressed like a, like a little bum. I tried to dress like comfortably. And also it's like really windy and cold outside. So keep myself warm. Uh, but yeah, I am heading out. Hi there! Hello! How are you doing 
eating today? Pines. What are you eating? My juice leftovers. Juice leftovers. <laughs> yeah. This was this was a juice, and this is leftovers. Bon appetit, I guess. Mm -hmm. I have a wrap. Wrap, wrap, wrap with chili con carne and some potatoes. Very nice. So yes, hi. I just got my back taped. Oh, and when I touch it, I already feel that it's kind of numb. So yeah, I went to the studio. Emil he put the numbing cream on, and now I have an hour to spare. So I came, ate some breakfast, and visited my friend Beate at the same time. <laughs> guys I just woke up I wanted to sleep for a little bit more but the construction workers started banging on the walls so I woke up but um, let me open the curtain so you can see me better oh oh no <laughs> I look beat yesterday I <laughs> finished the tattoo session I came home and I had a lot of work to do and just so I forgot to vlog basically, that's that's what happened, so um, But now I'm gonna be like showing you the tattoo, making myself some coffee And uh, I'm gonna talk it out like how was the pain and how the numbing cream worked and all that But yeah, I'm sorry guys, I'm really bad at vlogging Like at least I did the little time-lapse thing that some of you were requesting So, But also like nothing happened yesterday. I came home, I had the wrap on my back, I kept it for a while, then I took it off and then I basically went to sleep. So like nothing really happened. And today is also not, like not gonna be red so I can show it to you better. Yeah, but now I'm gonna make myself some coffee and yeah. Mm. <laughs> that warm coffee. Sorry for the banging. Can't do nothing about it. But uh, so I set up my camera here for now so I can stand up and show you my back tattoo. But it was funny that yesterday while I was getting tattooed and I posted a story that I am at my tattoo shop. Not my, but at the tattoo shop, tattoo studio. And so many of you messaged me and they're like, oh my God, are you finally making and making, doing your back tattoo? And so many of you already guessed that I'm doing my back tattoo because every single time up until this point, everyone who asked me what is gonna be my next tattoo after my neck, and I always said that it's going to be my back tattoo. So uh, yeah, a lot of you guessed that is my back tattoo. But then I was curious if any of you can guess what I'm getting on my back because I never really disclosed that. And also that idea came up pretty quickly and I wasn't going around shouting, hey, this is what I'm getting. And also I wanted to keep it like a mystery because I like revealing stuff and then it's like exciting for everyone. And so yesterday I was like, okay guys, you guessed that I'm getting a back tattoo, but can you guess what I'm getting on my back? And I got so many guesses, but none of them, none of them were my actual, like the thing that I have on my back. Like it's not the whole back, it's just like the, the centerpiece, what is in the centerpiece because the rest of it is ornamental, almost just as like my neck. So that's not a big guess, that's like kind of obvious. And uh, so many of you guessed, a lot of you guessed dragons, uh, which is a cool concept, but I didn't get a dragon. Um, then a lot of you guessed cranes, which is actually my second idea. But I don't know why, I just wanted something a bit darker than that. <laughs> like I just, I like like a little bit like creepy stuff, like you know. I, I already have a crane, so. But then again, the tattoo that I got, I also already have something like that, so. There are a lot of guesses and a lot of funny ones too, so. But without further ado, I'm gonna show you my back tattoo, so let me stand up. I'm really hoping this doesn't get demonetized, but I had to put my hair up in a bun. But so voila, this is my back tattoo. I don't know how much you can see. So yeah, the tattoo is already scabbing. 
Like I already feel that it has scabs all over it, which is interesting. But sorry for the drip. But yeah, so it starts off on the top of my not on the top of my bed neck, but starts uh, starts somewhere here as much as I can feel it, and then it goes down, connects with my neck piece, with this like shoulders. Also like having flowers and then there's a centerpiece and there's a skeleton! Yay! So I don't know yeah, how much you can see guys. I'm really yeah, hoping you can <laughs> see okay because this is hard filming a tattoo I don't see myself. <laughs> but yeah, this, this is it. So that was, uh, that is, was and will be my back tattoo. Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be way bigger. We just finished the first half of it. So it's just the center piece and it connecting with my shoulders. Then we're gonna go down. It's gonna wrap around my body, connecting with my stomach tattoo. And I'm also gonna have it on my bum. So every single time when I need to do something remotely like this, like filming a video, there are just... Fun sounds. That was my back tattoo. The centerpiece is a skeleton and the rest of it is going to be ornamental. So why a skeleton? I don't know. I've always liked skeletons. Also as a kid, that was like my favorite thing, favorite theme. I loved everything that has skeletons on it. I also like have a skeleton already on my arm. I know. I just need another and a bigger one. <laughs> also, Emil's my tattoo artist. He was like, yeah, maybe not cranes, you need something darker on there because I think that's kind of your thing and you can pull off stuff that looks a little bit dark and creepy and I was like, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy about it. I'm so excited to get it continued. Like speaking of pain and going on to that topic, how was the pain of my back tattoo? So I actually did feel a lot of pain. Uh, I did use the numbing cream. As I said, we I went to my tattoo artist like an hour before and we put on the numbing cream and it did start working. I did feel it numbing my back and Emil's already before he applied it on me because he had used that specific numbing cream on himself. He said that it is okay, but it's not like long lasting and it's not as strong as the TKTX one, which I was happy about because I didn't feel anything. Um, but he, he said like this just numbs it kind of a little bit at least so much so that you're not in excruciating pain You feel a little bit which is fine. I can sit through that But I hate when I'm in excruciating pain and I have to sit through that for a long period of time. That's not good We started tattooing and he uh, strategically started tattooing with the most painful spot on that tattoo the centerpiece connects on my backbone and he started there and he was like How is that and I was like, oh my god, I don't feel anything like at first and then he said, well, yeah, like when I tattoo a spot, it instantly bleeds out and it almost instantly becomes, you can feel in that spot instantly almost again. So as long as he like, he, he drew one line and like, I don't know, two, three minutes later, I could feel everything in that specific spot. Like the rest of my back was still numb. So anywhere where he drew a line, drew, tattooed a line, uh, it bled out and so the, the cream and the effectiveness of the cream just wore down as, as as soon as there was a line on my back not good like it did work a little like for some places he just went over pretty quickly and so i was like oh this is a walk in a park but then kind of towards the end also the numbing cream itself just started to wearing off completely so he started tattooing from the like uh, back uh, the bottom of my back to uh to um, the top of my back and it got pretty bad actually like there are some spots that i could still sit through and it wasn't that bad like it really depends it's just since it is such a huge space like the sensations are different everywhere and for some reason the most painful part was in between my shoulder blades but like that part specifically was just not good at all it was it was bad <laughs> like i remember because also because at that point like the numbing cream had worn off almost completely in like my whole body <laughs> and uh, yeah so the numbing cream is good for like small things and for quick stuff or it is kind of okay for lines um yeah like if you want like a quick fix and it doesn't stay there long but uh yeah it, it wasn't like I, I don't know why it just like i had experience of both this time i had the experience of 
feel, feeling a little bit like chilled out and my, my tab, my, like my back was numb and then the other side of it was like, I felt everything. <laughs> Pain was like very, it was like going from, 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 I don't know, like the most painful would be like an, from a scale of one to 10, like an eight, like somewhere in between my shoulder blades and like my neck. That was like an eight, but uh, other parts, oh, and like the middle of the backbone, that could be a nine. Like that was, mm, that was spicy. Also, when you go from having numb areas to having really sensitive and painful areas, it's a big switch. And then you feel like it's really painful. If may, even if maybe I think if you, me, me, you, whoever, would have not used numbing cream in the first place and then started tattooing, maybe that would be not that bad. But when you get this contrast between having an area and then ha and then suddenly feeling everything, it's like a big jump, and then you're like, "Ooh, that's not good." I'm sorry. I'm again talking uh, too much. I'm gonna keep on documenting this uh, this journey. I love taking you on these journeys. It's just interesting and, and exciting, like hearing your feedbacks and your like tips and tricks, and it's it's really cool. So I'm happy that I can take you on this journey, and yeah, so. I guess uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below because I don't know if I covered everything that I wanted to say because this is distracting. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. I really appreciate every single one of you and I'm so excited for all of this. And uh, yeah, so I guess I'll see you very soon in my next video. But before that, before that, leave me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!